Hello Virgo and welcome to your December 2021 reading. I'm really excited to help you look into your energy today for the sun, moon and rising signs of the Virgo Collective. Remember this is a general reading and will not resonate with every single person. Things that you can do is you can assign the roles as you please. Understand that energy is fluid so they can be reversed. If you are a cross watcher and it sounds like your vid video or Virgo if you're like hey that's not me it's someone else uh, that I'm dealing with then that makes sense. Also, if it doesn't resonate with you, just stick around because there may be something in it that you need to hear because the messages are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you're brought to this channel or this reading. One thing that I do want to let you know that is if you want to connect into any reader on YouTube and you want to connect into that energy, make sure you do a like, share, and subscribe. And that not only helps you, but it helps them and it helps you guys get connected in your energy and they can read it a lot better. And you have a bigger chance of getting your story read. If you decide that you want to do a thumbs down, I want to caution you on that. You can do whatever you want to do, but remember when you do something like that, there's a negative intention with that, which means that you will vibrate with the negativity of either the cards or the person. So whenever I am listening to someone online and they don't resonate with me, I will snap out of their energy before I leave like this. And that's it. And then I move on to another reader. I don't, I just, that says, hey, I don't align with that. That's not my thing. Um, that is not my reading. And then I just move on. Or I just quickly get in and out. I follow the resonance. And then um, that's generally how I would do it. During this reading and all of my readings, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you. If you're wanting to know about the energy update for all of us, the All Signs reading I just did for December, it is at the top of the screen right above me, and I always have suggested videos at the end. At the end will be the last love reading that I did, in case you want to see that as well. At the end of this video, we will also be releasing trapped emotions for your sign. I'll let you know what essential oils, crystals can help you maximize that energy. So make sure you check out the description box down below for details. I am doing personal readings, so check out the link in the description box down below. This month, because it is uh, Christmas and happy holidays, I forgot to say that. Uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy, happy Diwali, whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, I just want to give you an offer, which is for my personal readings. I am going to do a big special. So what I do for a personal reading, just so that you know, is I will release trapped emotions. So the releasing of trapped emotions that we do here on this channel are led by me, but not necessarily removed by me. So when, uh, because you're actually doing a meditation, I lead the meditation for you. It's your intention that we, we remove those trapped emotions. But when you meet with me for a personal reading, we actually talk in with your higher self and figure out what trapped emotions you're ready to release. And sometimes it's three and sometimes it's 20. It just depends on the person. Also, when I'm in your energy field, I'll look to see if you have any negative attachments or any entities. What that means is that we sometimes get energies that attach to us when we're vibrating really low, then there's things out there that actually do energetically uh, get into our energy field and attach to us because we have little batteries in every single one of our cells, so we have energy. So what those are, they can be, sometimes they are um, souls that did not go to the light at the time of their physical death and they decided that they wanted to stay in this kind of limbo realm area uh, where they do not have any energy but they have a consciousness so they're still living out their conscious life so if they were big into addictions or they liked to be an agent of chaos or something like that what they'll do is they find people who are similar to what it is that they want they'll find people who are addicted to things and make their addiction much much bigger and so if you find yourself fighting with people a lot or you find yourself diving into your addictions and not able to, or you're just super negative, right? That's probably because you got some things attached on you. The biggest thing you can do to get rid of those things is just raise your vibration, go running, go singing, go dancing and get your vibration up. But sometimes you might need someone like me to uh, do it for you if you're just in a funk, okay? Um, we just make sure that we check all of those. And the reason why I do that is because that's how I know that your tarot reading that I do for you and any messages I get from your angels and guides are actually from your angels and guides. We don't want anything else speaking into your existence except for the, the things that are for your highest good. So with that, I do trapped emotions, negative attachments and entities. Um, I do the overall tarot reading uh, and then answering the quick three questions that you have. So you get to ask me three questions and then I'll do an overall reading, answering those three questions in a video format, which I'll send to you. 
Before I do all of that too though, I do make sure that your chakras are open and I provide Reiki, but from your angels and guides will give you that energy if it is something that you need at the time. But we make sure that you're spinning and you're open and everything's good because then that creates a new beginning for you. Uh, it like opens the door to new possibilities as you're, you, you have the ability to vibrate higher. So I originally charge, uh, normally charge $150 for that because I have to get into your energy field in order to do that. And that puts my energy field at risk. So that's why those types of readings are much higher. I'm not just doing like a regular reading where you go to a reader and they do like a $20 reading. You could do those all day long. I prefer not to do that because I don't want anything influencing my reading. I want my readings to be spot on. So um, through the month of December or until all of the spots fill up, I will be charging only $50 for all of that thing. So you get $150 value for $50 because I love Christmas and I want to allow people who are not able to afford a reading uh, generally that you have the possibility to do it as I lower the price for you. My schedule will fill up really fast. So make sure that you get on my schedule as quickly as possible if you're thinking about it. I may or may not let that extend until January. I'm not really sure yet. I might because people tend to spend quite a bit of money on, on the holidays. So we'll see what's going on. I'll do whatever spirit has me do. All right, Virgo. So your theme for the month is there's two of them. The first one is perseverance and the second one is forgiveness. The emotions that we're going to release at the end of this video are anger in your liver and indecisiveness in your gallbladder. Um, I, if you like this reading or entertain this way, don't forget to like and subscribe anytime during the video um, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I do something new. Uh, I wanna thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new here, I wanna thank you for coming and checking out my channel. Uh, thank you to all the people who've donated, clicked on the links in my description box, got personal readings for me, watched ads that are near my videos and watched my videos multiple times and keep coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you have not yet subscribed and you'd like to support this channel, then please take a second to do so. I would greatly appreciate that. And Virgo, let's see what's going on for you for the month of December. I haven't gotten a lot of love reading, so I'm not really sure where this is going to go. A lot of it has been really focused on people's careers. So let's see. Virgo, what is happening with you? Okay. One, two, three four and five and the bottom cards one two and three all right virgo so we have let's talk about the overall energy first about what we see we see three cards together we have manifestation through your higher perspective is going to bring you happiness so this month you're going to persevere through some things that you need to look at for forgiving and while you do that you're going to be looking at the things that you want to manifest that are for your highest good um, that will bring you the highest happiness that's what we're looking at it's also using your resourcefulness along with your intuition and your spiritual wisdom to bring in the things that are going to bring you inner happiness, fulfillment, and more. One thing I wanna say really quickly is my kids are up and they are upstairs and they make noises and so that is my life <laughs> lately. So uh, if you hear things, just ignore it and we'll just get through the reading as quickly as possible so that you can get what you need. I'll cut as much of it as I can out, otherwise the rest of it we're just gonna have to deal with. If I'm talking about something good, I'm not gonna stop why they're making noises. So Virgo, how are you feeling? Um, well, first of all, we're, we're, we're in the five of pentacles, which is kind of an unnerving way of feeling at first in the beginning of the month. Um, you could be dealing with a lack mindset. Maybe you're worrying a lot. Um, maybe you feel like you're isolated from people. Maybe you feel like people are leaving you out and you're just not getting the connection that you really need. It could be connection to source or it can be connection to uh, just people around you. Like you're not really connected in with other people. The cool thing is, is what's coming towards you is that you're going to be moving on from that energy and we're moving into a different energy. Let's see. So we have the eight of cups. And that is um, about walking away from something, leaving something behind. Uh, it, it's about change. Um, and so let me go ahead and see where are we going from there, right? I want, just give me a little bit of clarity on where Virgo is actually going when they leave this feeling of not being um, 
not having the things that they need and not getting their needs met. Okay, so where are they going to go? You're going towards some sort of communication or maybe the communication is going to think that helps you leave. Uh, but there's in that communication, there's some really good news. Uh, it could be a job offer for some of you guys that are looking for a job right now. Um, and it could just be being able to express yourself. So like the more you express yourself, the more you're going to find the right timing in order to move forward. Um, and the more you see things differently, then the more you're going to be able to take care of all of that devil energy that's been around you, that's been holding you back. Okay. So and that's where you're moving towards the thing that's holding you back from moving towards that or having those conversations or, um, uh, just moving on in general is this 10 of pentacles. And that is looking at like the dark side of wealth and feeling like you're having financial loss or maybe you've been a failure in finances. So if you're trying to actually physically move, well, if you feel like you're not doing well in finances, it's gonna make it really difficult for you to make that move because it costs money to actually move and move somewhere new. So I feel like there's some sort of struggle around money right now. And uh, that is what is actually holding you back is the vibration and the thoughts that you have around money. Okay, so one of the best things that you can do is write out your fears around money and burn them or get that paper that dissolves in water. Um, it's just to get it out of your body. Maybe you take a bath and you think about like how you may feel like a failure in some areas of your life around money. Maybe you feel like um, money controls you or someone else is controlling the money. You don't have any control over the money. There's some sort of thing like that that's actually holding you back. The thing that is helping you and supporting you is um, the Trinity. That's really cool some sort of trinity uh so it could be maybe you have some sort of special cross or maybe you have something special uh that that is what's helping you right now because it's giving you the strength that you need um it's also this um the friendships that you have around you i know that you're feeling left out so that's why it's important that the quicker we can get around people again the better you're gonna feel and so uh, maybe bringing in some more friends would be supportive for you uh, to gain your independence around in your life. So some of you guys have people that are dependent on you and you're not independent because they're just always around you and always on you. You don't have enough alone time. Um, maybe you are overindulging in things like wine or alcohol or like drugs or something like that because you just are feeling like it's the only way I can feel like I get some relief. But any kind of collaboration that you do, those are going to be the, be the things that help you. So financially, if you need more money, well, you need to make more relationships with people, especially if you're in sales or something like that. Sales, you got to have a lot of relationships in order to make money. So um, it could be some of you guys as a job offer. So maybe, you know, the new relationships, the new three new people coming into your area or into your life could be those people are going to help you move out of this feeling that you've been left out in the cold or this feeling like of the lack mindset. OK, the overall or the potential outcome for this is just splendid communication. So increase in career, increase in travel, uh, increase in creative work and enterprise. It, this could be like a flash of inspiration or just being able to express yourself. So um, the wands is about creation. It's about willpower, inspiration, and desire. So that is the outcome if you can get out of lack mindset and you can get out of... Um, feeling left out or feeling like you're not doing well or feeling like you're a failure. If you can move away from that and persevere and some of that's going to be through forgiveness is that's the hints that they're giving you to just forgive. And maybe that's what that Trinity is. Maybe there's three people you need to forgive. Um, that might be a good exercise to do to help you move through the month. All right, I'm going to throw these down. And then we will do your essential oils and your trapped emotions. And luckily it's a holiday time. So what a great time to invite people over, to invite people out because it's holidays, right? So that's always a great time to kind of see if you can get some connection with people. And that might help you a lot. 
Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, you've been in solitude too much and that's causing a problem for you. You need to move towards the light and the things that make you happy. Um, and moving on, there it is again. So we have two cards of moving on. It's time to move on. Um, and follow the light, follow the light in your heart. See, in these cards, there's two people. There's one person moving on to the light and here's the light. Go to the light, go to the happiness, go to, go to the things that make you feel more free. There has been some obstacles and challenges which made you shut down from the world. You saw your shadow side, but now it's time to move forward is what God is saying. It's like you don't have to do any more spiritual work. Um, I was just talking to um, someone the other day, and you have your human experience, and then you have your spiritual experience. And the human experience expands your spiritual experience. You know, you, you, people, when they start doing their spiritual spiritual experience they, they like take themselves out of life and life is where we actually grow through our relationships with people through our work experiences whenever you have a contact with another person is when you actually grow so um, something to think about is just maybe you need to get more people into your life and start to work on forgiveness and uh, I'm hearing trust for some of you guys so yeah very good very good reading Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is your essential oils. And the first one is forgive oil, and the, and the second one is helichrysum. I only, only, only talk about doTERRA essential oils on this channel. Do not go to Amazon and buy oils. Because, one, you don't know if you're actually getting oils, uh, the, um, full, the full oil. Because people take the tops off and they put adult, they adulterate the aura oils. You just don't want to do it. Two, you don't get the rewards points and programs. And three, you don't get a personal contact that you can ask questions about your oil journey because you will have questions. I have a Virgo leader. She is amazing. And she would love to take care of other Virgos. I mean, she would just love that. When you decide to get a membership through me and through us, uh, I will assign you to that Virgo leader. She will reach out to you and give you the first free education class. It costs you nothing. It's just your time. And she will even send you a little gift for taking the course. If you do 100 PV or more, she'll actually send you a book that teaches you about your oils as well. Uh, so lots of great things. If you have any questions, you just reach out to her. So helichrysum is for pain, emotional pain, body pain, and we use the word occasional before all of that. Um, so whatever you're dealing with, uh, that is my favorite oil for like when I fell off my bike and had lots of injuries, that was the oil I used. When I cut my finger in the kitchen, that is the oil I use because it stops the bleeding pretty quickly. So it's pretty awesome. So helichrysum is great. It is a valuable oil. It has a higher price tag on it, but it is super worth it. Uh, and it is great also if you have occasional like ringing of the ears and stuff like that. The uh, other oil is forgive oil, which will help you with all of that forgiveness. And I highly suggest you use these oil at least three times a day. You can roll them anywhere on your body because they come in roller bottles. So, and they're already pre-diluted. So there's nothing to even like worry about. It's super easy. Forgive, in my opinion, smells a lot better than helichrysum does, but I like the way helichrysum smells and so does my husband, but not everybody does. So uh, that is it. And remember, you can always get your holiday oils as well. So if you like the smell of Christmas trees and Christmas time, this is a great time to get those oils too. Okay, so let's talk about your um, crystal and then we'll release those trapped emotions so that you can have an easier month, okay? And we will get you through. All right, I just feel like singing Christmas songs. <laughs> Just hear those sleigh bells ringling, ding, ding, dingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you who. All right, let's see. Phantom Quartz, it means embrace change. Yeah, your life is about to change. Um, and it's going to be changing for the better. So if you feel uncomfortable then you can definitely grab this crystal to be in the description box down below along with those essential oils. And uh, that would be the crystal to use. So cool. All right, go ahead and sit back, find a comfortable place and breathe. And while you're breathing, I'm gonna invite Archangel Michael in, but let's go ahead and listen to the music and relax yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Good job, breathe in and breathe out. Archangel Michael, I ask you for your assistance, please. And I ask for the assistance of the angels and the spirit guides and the loved ones and spirit of the Virgo collected to help us move through releasing these trapped emotions. 
We're asking you for visions. We're asking you for feelings. Anything that can help us remember and release these trapped emotions today. And the first one that we want to work on is anger in the liver. So breathe in and breathe out. Good job, breathe in. Grab all of that anger out of the liver. Think about the things that make you angry. Breathe out. Good job, one more time. Breathe in and think about the things that make you really angry. See the things that your, your loved ones in spirit are showing you. Remember this, remember this, remember this, and breathe out. Very good. Archangel Michael, I ask that you take that um, anger and you transmute that into light energy so Virgo does not have to worry about that anymore or any cross watchers as well. Breathe in and breathe out. Good job. And the next one is indecisiveness in the gallbladder. So breathe in. See the things that your angels and guides and your loved ones and spirit are showing you. Breathe out. Feel what it feels like to be indecisive and not know what you want. Breathe in. All right. Not being sure of yourself. Breathe out. One more time. Grab it all out of your gallbladder. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm oh, sorry. Grab it all out of your gallbladder. Breathe in. And breathe out. Archangel Michael, I ask that you transmute that uh, indecisiveness that's been in the gallbladder of Virgo Collective and uh, put that in the light energy so that we can go on and not have that heaviness anymore in this reality um, and just make it feel a whole lot better. <laughs> and feel inside of the liver and the gallbladder of, of Virgo if you can feel some light into there so that when we put something out that we replace it with something much better. And we'd appreciate that. <clears throat> Breathe in. See the light going into your gallbladder and your other organs. Breathe out. Very good. Um, Archangel Michael, we want to thank you for coming and all the angels and spirit guides and lovers and spirit for helping us with this. With our intention today, we wanted to release these and we appreciate all the help. Thank you so much. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for coming and I appreciate you being here. Uh, and on the screen is a suggested video along with your playlist. And I will see you at the next reading. Merry Christmas. Bye.